So I decided to do my master here at TTH in data science because it was exactly what I was looking for, a top-ranking university that would offer a data science-focused course, so not too far from home, but that was definitely a secondary requirement. ETH Zurich is the top university in Europe. It has very good professors that are very engaged with the research that they do here and working with the students. But the best thing is the other students that are coming with your cohort, that you're going to be working hand in hand with them in order to fulfill the requirements of the master. I already completed my bachelor's degree, but in a different field at ETH. So I thought with a change of field, but being able to keep my peers and also meet new people, it would be nice to stay in Switzerland, which I also enjoy as a location. So ETH Zurich as an academic institution offers a great research environment for students. There are students coming here from all over the world. We have a very friendly and collaborative research environment. And also Zurich as a city has a lot to offer for free time purposes, though so there's a proximity to the lake and to the mountains, and it's just a really great city to live in. I did my bachelor's here at ETH because I grew up in Zurich, so it was a natural choice. And then I decided to stay because it's just a world-class education right at my doorstep, so there was no reason for me to look any further. It's possible to carry out the data science lab or the master's thesis together with companies, and often it's even possible to work on companies' data. The professors often co-supervise this thesis together with employees of the companies, and it's very exciting to see what the students have accomplished at presentation day. So there are several centers at, uh, at ETA Surrey that work in, in machine learning and, and data science. For example, the AI Center is a top center doing fundamental research in, in machine learning. And the Swiss Data Science Center, where I am the chief data scientist, we work on applied machine learning. And then we have a very good connection with the Max Planck Institute in, in Tübingen to do basic research in machine learning. Zurich offers a very dynamic environment. There are many companies, there are many startups, there are many hospitals close by that I personally in my research work very closely together. And students can benefit from all these connections and collaborations by working with these partners early on, see what problems are in which different areas, and so get insights what is important in the real world and how can we solve these real world problems early on. So Zurich is a great location for technology innovation because it brings together academia, industry and a lot of startups. And actually the ETH AI Center where I'm doing my PhD is working on improving the communication between these parties and bringing everyone together. Zurich has a strong ecosystem with multinational companies such as Google or UBS but as well as startups who are looking for data scientists. But at the same time, it has a human size, so everybody kind of knows each other. The best place to go to in order to get in touch with companies is the FIS contact party. Um, I would say that Zurich is a very important tech hub, both within Switzerland but also within Europe as a whole, mostly because there's a lot of big companies that have large offices here, such as Google or Meta. There's also ETH that attracts a lot of international talent. And then there's a thriving startup ecosystem, so independent of what you want to do, there's definitely a lot of opportunity. There are a lot of opportunities to get involved in extracurricular activities because the University of Zurich is also so close and Switzerland has other world-class universities as well. So there's different clubs and events centered around topics such as entrepreneurship, venture capital, sports, where it's so easy to just join and become part of that community. There is a lot of events uh, organized by different organizations inside and outside ETH, inside the departments and outside, and they cover different kind of activities as well, more like fun activities or more professional like hackathons. Um, and it's easy also to get involved, so you can just reach out. <laughs>